On January 20th, Pluto is moving out and that feeling of not being able to move forward, feeling restricted, is going to leave. Remember, Pluto does hold the energy of negativity and that is about destruction. We as human beings, we see destruction as negative. No doubt about it. It comes with chaos and, and, and dissolving of partnerships and relationships and all of these things that we consider to be negative. And it's been with us since 2008. So if you've been feeling like you, you know where to go, you know what direction to go in and not being able to do it, this energy shift is going to help you move in a forward direction. And the beautiful thing is where it's going is going to be there for two decades. All of this positive flow. It does not mean you won't have challenges. You will have challenges. There is no doubt about it. You have endings that took place. You have transforming from who you were to this new individual you about authenticity. And with being authentic means you present you, you do you. And if somebody tries to tell you to do it different, well, first of all, they're dealing with you, Gemini, and it doesn't work that way, right? So as an air sign, you are already connected and you know how to do it, but there's people every now and then that can come in and kind of grab you and lead you into unhealthy thinking, unhealthy relationships. That's the energy that's getting ready to leave. Now, for those of you who are ready to take action, you've been patient long enough. You've got the card of patience right here. And you're like, I am so not patient anymore. So it is time to move forward. If you've already felt this lift in your life, that's good. Keep going because you're going to escalate even more, Gemini. We are talking about you. Okay, the Page of Swords is talking about you, where you needed to cut some people out of your life. You needed to look at things from a mature point of view. You may have been dealing with a lot of immature people, people who were stuck, people who didn't communicate in a way that worked for you. Now, this is a positive movement because with this is the Fool card, taking a leap of faith. Now, this leap of faith is not about you uh, just jumping off a cliff and being a foolish. This is about you doing all of the research, all of the studying, because through the transition of where we've been and where we're going, our entire lives have changed where most of it is automated. Okay, we are going online and I know it has something to do with Gemini. If you haven't learned computer data input, things like this, the apps and how to use all of these things, you're getting ready to do this, okay? The communication that was blocked is going to be open and free flowing right now because you've changed, you've grown and the inner conflict that you've been dealing with is gone or it's about to be. Okay, it's moving into a whole new level. Remember the year of 2024 is eight. It equals eight. Eight is about financial, spiritually, financially abundant. And with that spiritual abundance is the 10 of cups. This is joy and happiness and having everything you need when you need it. And that's what abundance really is. What you need when you need it. And you know how to bring it in. So there is no more worry. There is no more of this fear that may have been driving some of you a little bit insane. Or just the fact that um, you had a hard time taking the lift off and going into a different direction. Whether that be in romance or uh, family, even relocating, you have the Queen of Cups. Whatever you're doing as you go forward, this is keeping an open heart. Because to let abundance in, our heart cannot be filled with anger. It cannot be filled with trying to dominate and force other people to see our perception. Everybody's got their own. And if they don't mesh with you, you're like, see ya. Okay, bye. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> and just say adios, all right? Let them go, but leave your heart open. It doesn't matter what they say. It matters what you say. Everything from this point matters about you. And that is not coming from a place of ego. It's coming from a beautiful place of balance inside. If you've been feeling out of balance, you're going to be starting to feel a lot better. If you've been tired, going through some stigmas that have just worn you out, that is going to be dissipating as long as you're doing the work. 
It's not just going to poof be gone with no effort. These are for you, those of you who have actually put work and energy into your life. You've analyzed every situ situation around you and you have uh, dissected it probably back and forth, overthinking, right? In an unhealthy form of overthinking, this doesn't work, this does. But if I take this out, then I got to do that. Then I got to do this. And then I need to learn that. So you've been through all of this and whatever has been going on is working for you. Here you go. This beautiful, beautiful seven of cups. And I feel for a lot of you with this seven of cups, you're starting to see new things on the horizon you're starting to see beyond where you were before the restricted energy is leaving and if you don't see it get ready because you're about to see it very very soon now again with this energy comes this new version of you new vitality okay new intellect new awareness of who you're dealing with when it comes to creating partnerships, and this is really highlighted for our Geminis, all right? And that's talking about you because you have the duo inside of you. So both sides of you are going to be in alignment. That's how you're going to manifest. That's how you're going to create. That's how you're going to see what's coming or even grasp something from the air and bring it down. I feel for some of you, it is definite. I keep hearing intellect, intellect. So I feel this is like, uh, the automated system, um, learning more about the artificial intelligence, okay? Whatever it is for you, this is very, 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 very positive. So with the shift, there is an absorbent amount of risk, and the risk brings in that adrenaline rush, and it puts it right in your gut right where your feelings and emotions are stored. And I can feel it just going boop, 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 right now. So a lot of you are ready to do this. You already did it once and now you're doing it again. This is the big one. Sometimes we have to go through a few different aspects of our life, depending on who we were dealing with and all of that chaos and havoc that was going on around you. We have to go through it one or two at a time, not just everything gone at once. We have to break it down. Um, I love this card for you. Okay, so the main message is I embrace and nourish the creative aspects of my mind. Imagination. And that's what I'm saying, going back into attaching to the universe and seeing beyond where you've been, seeing where you're going, understanding that you have all within you to already do this. You know where to go to get the information. Don't listen to so-and-so over here. Now, some people offer you valuable information, but you still have to do the research to make sure it's correct. That may have been applicable 10 years ago, and it is not today. So always double check and allow your imagination to grow and expand in a way that it has not expanded before. You are becoming the butterfly. And with that comes a whole new beginning if you want it. Thank you for watching.